A woman is in jail tonight after officials say she kidnapped a child and led police on a brief pursuit. Thankfully, no one was hurt after Hernando County Sheriff's deputies arrested the woman and saved that child. The carjacking happened in a neighborhood just east of US-19, south of Spring Hill Drive. A deputy spotted the car at Cortez Boulevard and managed to stop the stolen vehicle along Shoreline Boulevard near Hernando Beach, but it was quite the operation. Eight on your sides, Trevor Sahaki is live at the Hernando County Sheriff's Office with what the sheriff had to say about all of it. Trevor? Jack Allison, the sheriff congratulated his deputies on a job well done and said he was glad the child was found safe and sound tonight. He said his team stopped everything to find this child and that this could have been a lot worse. A three-year-old child reunited with family tonight after officials said she was briefly kidnapped and along for the ride on a car chase this morning in Hernando County. So that really uh, made a very bad situation, 10 times worse, having that child in the car. According to Hernando County Sheriff Al Nienheis, a food delivery driver was making a stop in Spring Hill around 10 a.m. The driver says she left the three-year-old inside while she made the delivery. That's when deputies say Brianne Lucy got into a fight with the driver, pushed her to the ground, and stole the car with the child still inside. Minutes later, a deputy spotted the stolen car. Started to try to pull the car over. The car refused to pull over, was driving at a high rate of speed, uh, crossing on a double yellow line. The deputy backed off and the suspect slowed down. But the sheriff's marine unit happened to be nearby and set up a roadblock to jam traffic. According to the sheriff, by the time Lucy realized she was stuck, she stopped and deputies arrested her, saving the child. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And it is really by the grace of God that nobody got hurt, including the three-year-old, because it was a recipe for disaster. He said situational awareness for everyone, even on a Saturday morning, could keep you safe. This is a perfect illustration. You've got to be aware of your surroundings all the time, every single day, even in a neighborhood that is, uh, you know, I think is relatively safe. And the sheriff said it was about 20 minutes from the time the 911 calls came in to the time it was all over. He said his office is familiar with Lucy. She's now in the Hernando County Detention Center, charged with kidnapping a minor, carjacking, and fleeing from police. Live in Brooksville, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.